Hey, hey everybody. This is Jill. This is Mary. And today we are going to do our spring look. So what do we want? First of all, we've already prepped our skin. And one of the things we do religiously, in fact, I just did it this morning now that cool. I think about it. Good for you. Mine is uh, Wednesday nights. So we're on the same day. <laughs> So we want to get rid of cornflakes because if you've ever had your makeup just kind of sit there or not mm -hmm. or look kind of dull, that's because you've got compacted skin here at the top. This is dead skin, new skin, damaged skin. Um, so we want to get rid of this. Right. And so we can we want to use our microderma pill at least one at to least. three times a week. It just depends on your skin and it what it does. It just it. It takes off the cornflakes and the raisins, and then mm -hmm. you have the, the beautiful little plump um, grapes underneath. So that's what you want. That's what you want to um, have when you apply your makeup. And, and then the next step would be the, your higher, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. acid. For both your face and your eyes, because what that's going to do is that's going to attract like a thousand times of moisture to your skin so that it stays nice and plump and moisturized during the day. Uh, also, we want to put a vitamin C serum on your face. And that's going to help with the dark um, spots. It's going to help minimize them. And vitamin C is very good nourishing to brighten our skin. And it takes away the dullness also. Yes. We've already gotten rid of the dullness of the dead skin, so now we want to repair those damaged skin. And also moisturizer. Right. Definitely want to have a moisturizer for your eye. And I've also used a deep puffer under my eye. Yes. Because I have a lot of puffiness, especially right now. If you live in Texas, everything is covered with yellow yes. dust. That's why you have dark circles and yellow <laughs> <laughs> and everything else. Sneezing. So, um, yeah, and when you apply your uh, moisturizer, it helps to seal in the, the hydration in your skin. So, that is a, it's a very important step um, towards um, applying your, your makeup. Yes, and you want, and there's two, you know, you have a face moisturizer as well as an eye moisturizer, and they're designed to be different because this eye area is so delicate, and you want a specific kind of moisturizer. Right. And the moisturizer that I use um, has the um, uh, sun protection SPF 20 in it. Mm -hmm. What do you use one with? Yes, an and I'm going to go over that in a few minutes. But yes, you, okay. I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And mine also has a vitamin C. Right. In it. Right. I think we use. We, we may use the same one. The Probably smooth. so. Yes, the smooth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to get started with our spring makeup look and we're just going to apply makeup like we're doing every day and we're going to throw in comments. So if you have any questions, please comment, comment below. below. If there's something that you really like, be sure and um, let us know. So the first thing I do is I put apply my shadow control cream. I have one in the pink and what it does is it's a, a it tattoos your eyeshadow on basically your eyeshadow you will not have to touch it up at all you put this on and it helps the eyeshadow it keeps it from creasing and keeps it on all day and the other great thing about this is if it's Saturday or any day that you don't want to wear your full mm -hmm. eyes you can wear it by itself because it's tinted what color do you use I'm actually using the the natural today uh, it also comes in taupe, so it comes in three colors that, um, like Jill said, the pink and the uh, the taupe you can use as your weekend eyeshadow. And if you're somebody that has discolorations on your lid, we also have, there's a, uh, and the natural is really good for that because it gets rid of that discoloration so that you've got a nice, clean palette. Some people use concealer as their primer. Uh, personally, I like the shadow control cream because it does do a better job of tattooing. The next thing I like to do is take translucent powder and apply it just right on top. That's kind of, 
it seals in that primer and it also helps your shadow go on nice and, nice and smooth. smooth. And so for summer, we want to go to a little bit lighter look. We've changed some colors. Mirror up like this so I can see. Oh yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. Oh, that's a really good idea. Okay, so I am using a light, this light color right here all over okay. as my base. And I'm going to use the second color, which is kind of a taupey color all over my lid. And yes, I hold my mouth open when I do it. Don't ask mm -hmm. me why, it's habit. The second thing I, I start with is my dark, I'm gonna do purples. So I'm gonna use this dark shade right here. And what about you? I'm gonna use the, this, uh, this dark green here just to use something different than Jill's using. <laughs> Okay, so I am doing, I need to get a different brush, hang on. You just want to pat it in. So I'm going to use a little flat brush because it's a darker color. And I'm starting at the crease and then I'm going up a little bit onto my legs or I have the hooded eyes so I'm gonna go on to this brow bone so it gives me the illusion of depth and I'm going out almost like a cat eye and then I'm coming back in into a V and I'm actually doing basically the same and I don't worry about how it really looks right now if you notice, I'm just depositing the color. So it looks a little uneven and it looks kind of funny because we haven't put our foundation on. Just kind of drawing in, it's called a cut crease and that means you're putting color into the crease and then above. So then, next, go ahead. Uh, Jill, do you use the lightest color up under your brow? Sometimes I do today because I used a light color already for the day. I'm just going to leave it. If it were nighttime, I'd put a little bit more highlight. Okay. And of course, this is makeup is it's to me, it's artistry on your face. So you do what you like and what you feel comfortable in. And I used this very light white color up under my brow and that gives a lift to your brow right and right now took a fluffy brush and I'm doing swish 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 and kind of circling around just so that it blends together so that you don't have a line of demarcation right there you want it to just gradually blend together So the third color is this light color and putting it all over the lid. And I have found as I've aged, my lids aren't quite as smooth as they used to be. So I press the color on versus just immediately trying to rub it on. And that way it disperses the color and then I can blend it where I want it. It's pretty. Oh, thank you. Ooh, so does yours. Nice. A little spot here. That... And we went with the lighter color so that it will pop the lids, especially someone that has hooded eyes because you can't see that part. And so you want as much brightness here as you can get. So what color do you guys put in the comments? What colors do you like? Do you like of uh, purple and plums for your eyes? Do you like greens? Do you blues. like blues? So that is it for eyeshadow. Three colors, yep. base, crease, and lid. That's it. Blend, wow. blend, blend. So. so the next thing 
I actually do uh, my waterline. I use a black waterproof. And I'm going to use a, a navy. And so I'm lifting and I'm just going right here, close. And I have on contacts. I wear contacts every day. I have my contacts on right now. And you see it's not bothering because I lift up and I put as close to the lash line as I can. And because this is a waterproof, it takes about 30 seconds to set. And as I blink, it's distributing just a little bit on this bottom line. I'm just going as close to my lash line as I can get. And then I love a liquid liner. I'm using black even though it's daytime, but as Mary said, I'm getting very, very close to the, um, I'm just going to go ahead and line with the navy and I'm getting as close as I can get. And remember, I'm not using a mirror, so please forgive me. And maybe I will use a mirror. And the best part is this is the eyeliners. These eyeliners are waterproof. And look, and they're really easy to smudge if you like to smudge and did you see just now i dropped some liner on my face that's why i haven't put my foundation on that way it's easy to clean up and you want to go in about three quarters of the way because if you go all the way in it can close your eyes if you have bigger eyes that's great but like me i have really small eyes and for those of you who like to do the wing it's really pretty and you would go out and do your wing. You would draw your V and V and then fill it in. And you don't, you want to angle towards the edge of your brow. And I just, I go three fourths of the way on the top and the bottom. Oh, that looks pretty. Thank you. And then I like to come back with an angled brush and take the darkest color and put it on top because it's daytime. I like to put it on top of that black. It sets that liquid liner and it, it softens it to where it's not just solid black. It just makes it a little bit of a deep purple now. It's pretty, that looks very natural. Thank you. And then on the bottom, just three quarters of the way in, just smooth it on. Okay, there are our eyes, and we'll do our mascara in a minute. All right, okay. Next thing is to get ready for foundation. And I like to use a, oh, first, it's also good to kind of brush off mm -hmm. any um, excess of your, whoop, that's okay. <laughs> I like a CC cream as my base. And sometimes I'll use this as my moisturizer instead. This, and, go ahead. No, go ahead. And the CC cream, it gives me a hint of color because I am so pale. And I can also wear it by itself on the days I don't want to put full makeup on. But it gives me a hint of color. It has SPF 12. And it also, it moisturizes mm -hmm. so that I've got some moisture going on on those days. It actually turns the color of your skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm going to use a different um, makeup base. And this is called uh, Perfecting Wet Dry. And it's a powder. Uh, you can use it wet or dry. I prefer it dry. And I just... Put it on with a brush all over my face. And it's a natural uh, coverage, and that's what I like about it. Now what I just put on is I put on some dark circle concealer, and we were talking about the 
lovely pollen that we have. So you see, I dotted it on and then I used my finger to pat it in. Not rub, but pat it in. And I'm doing the same. Okay. This is awesome because it, co it covers the dark, whereas sometimes a concealer by itself will not cover. Now I'm gonna go with my foundation. I am using a medium coverage foundation in liquid. During the winter, I'll use a heavier coverage, but now again, it's spring, it's lighter. Uh, it also has some reflecting particles in it to help reflect away from any wrinkles, any age. And I use a brush and I dot it on. Now, there are so many different ways to apply your foundation. You can use a foundation brush like I'm using here. They have the big round foundation brushes that I actually would like to get one. I just haven't invested in it yet, but I've heard that they are absolutely fabulous. If anybody has one of those, comment below and let me know what you like about it. Oh, Jill, did we forget to tell them that we're gonna have a drawing? Oh, we did forget to tell them we're having a drawing. We are gonna have a drawing. Um, all you need to do is comment spring below and to share this video uh, on your page and you're in the drawing. And we have to have at least 10 people comment before we'll do the drawing. Correct. Now, Another way you can apply foundation is with a beauty blender. I like these uh, for applying my heavier foundation, mm -hmm. but for my lighter, I like a brush and I use these as a blender. Literally what they call, what they are, you fill them with water and so they don't absorb your product. Wow. And if you notice, I have been stippling in my foundation and that way you don't look painted on. And then, I don't, I don't want to get a step ahead of you, but I'm going to do my brows. If you notice my brows now, they're, they're very light. Your, your brows help to frame your face. So that is um, uh, one thing that you, that's really necessary for everyone to do is to at least to fill in their brows and to shape them. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use our and that's one thing we're showing two different ways. Mary's a little bit of being darker. She can get away with wearing a little bit less foundation, me being lighter. And we're just showing you both ways that you can apply foundation, found of what works best for you. Right. And th another thing, if you have anything left on your brush, apply a little bit right here. It's called a white diamond, especially as we get into the summer. You get sun, but you don't get anything right here. And so it shows up. If you just kind of dab a little bit here, it gets rid of that whiteness so it, you don't have that protruding out. Another thing is make sure your hands are clean. You can either use your hands to press your foundation in. This is for a liquid foundation. Or you can use one of the flat brushes to smooth your foundation in. Is your nice smooth look. Okay, alrighty. Next thing, and yes, I do this every morning. I take a little bit of your concealer. concealer. Oh wow. And I use a brush. And I just do a little bit of a V here and I come up here that way if I've gotten anything extra on any eyeshadow that's gone too far you see how it kind of hid that dark circles because you're highlighting meaning you're going over the darkness you don't necessarily want to go all the way under here unless you need it and then I draw like three little here 
and then just right down my nose so that it comes up. And then that's where I come back with my beauty blender. I also have a little one that's been moistened and I just kind of stipple it on so that it blends into my foundation. Wow. All right. So do you use the color yeah, perfecting I do. powder? I do. And, and I like to use mine now. Everybody does it at a different time. I smooth everything out. And then I'll probably use it again. No, I will use it again in a minute. <laughs> All right, what do you do next? Next, okay. I'm going to use a bronzer <laughs> for my contouring. It has multiple colors, so I swirl it to get all of the colors together. Okay. And you want to do just right under your cheek and around here. So it's like a reverse. It's like an E and a three. So it's just giving you a little bit of definition. Little sun kiss. Huh? Quick and easy. Next thing I'm going to do a rose blush. You just kind of start and kind of swirl down. If you um, do highlighting, you would do it above a little bit here and here. That's about it. And when I say highlighting, I did highlighting on my face with my concealer, but using a highlighting powder. Set everything again with my color correcting. Now this is where Mary's already done her brows. Right. Me, I actually, I like a primer for my lashes. So I put the primer on. And I'm using the waterproof mascara. And to allow the primer time to dry for a few seconds, this is when I do my brows. And I use a pencil for my brows and I just feather stroke starting underneath. As you see, I don't have much here. This is the way it was since high school. I don't plug. It just Yeah, I don't have just many my hereditary brows either. <laughs> you but can you see do. the difference. Yeah. And then you take a little brush. If you have a spoolie brush, you can use it. That works really well. Or like it's my a little comb. Mine has a little comb on it. But do you agree that you really should? Yes. Now, do one thing to your brows because they they are the framework of your face. Yes. Now, I did go a little bit lighter color for the spring mm -hmm. than I use typically during the fall. Mm -hmm. Now, at night, I'd probably go back to a little bit darker, darker. color. Yeah. I better get a mirror. So do, does everybody comment below if you do your brows and whether you use powder or pencil. Now I'm going to use, a, to use both. a volumizing. Yeah, it depends on where I'm going. Yeah. A volumizing of mascara that's going to curl and lengthen. I use that on top. And then I use the waterproof on the bottom. On the bottom. And I top these lashes with it. So I've got the benefit of a waterproof on top of the lengthening, curling, and dramatic. Okay. All right, so we are almost done. Lips, lips, 
I'm not going to use a liner today. I normally do, but I'm um, I'm actually going to mix two, oh, pretty. two colors. Um, I have a pink and a red. The oh, pink, nice. the pink is uh, kind of light on me. I like a little bit of a darker color, so I I put the pink on first. And then I go over very lightly with the red. Oh, pretty. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. It complements yeah. your blouse. Very nice. So, you know, mix your colors because if you have something that's too light, you can add a color that you may have that's a little bit darker and mm -hmm. it just changes up the shade and you can do a similar thing with the liner right you can I, I'm using a, a bright pink cotton candy liner I filled in the whole area mm-hmm because I actually eat a lot so <laughs> I need something to help keep my lips on and then I'm going to use a liquid lip Just on top, give me a little Very bit of pretty shine. And so there you have it. We've That's got it. spring makeup. It's our spring glowing makeup. And uh, we, uh, after um, we're done, we're going to um, comment below uh, all of the products that we talked about. And also don't forget that we're going to have a drawing. And mm -hmm. you, you comment in the, the um, below in uh, uh, the word the comment, spring. spring. We need 10 comments, we, have our drawing. We, yes, and, and please share it. And so. we appreciate you guys watching, we really do. Yes. And we hope that we are sharing some knowledge that is beneficial yeah. to you. And if there's anything specific you want us to cover, let us know, send well, us a message or comment. Right. And let us know. And next week, we're going to, oh. we're going to do something very special. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> uh, we're going to um, to do um, color analysis, so uh, we're very excited. So yes. So stay tuned, and have a great week. Thank you very Thanks. much. Bye bye. bye, -bye.